Welcome, 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 and good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Staff of Life, Carlos Kitchen, and I'm welcoming you into my kitchen this morning on this Friday, last day of working day of the week, I hope for some, and for most of us, preparation day for the Sabbath. I just want to say again, good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome you to Staff of Life, Carlos Kitchen. Today we're going to make cabbage. Normally you would use a whole cabbage, but I only had a half, so I'm prepping this up for my Sabbath meal. Um, we're gonna have cabbage steak. We're gonna get that out of the way first. I have some potatoes on low heat over here uh, boiling, because we may have some mashed potatoes with that. Of course, you can have pasta with this dish. And we're gonna have uh, my satan chicken, or you can, I'm gonna call them chops today, or it could be the satan chicken breast, but, or just plain satan chicken, however you wanna call it, we're gonna uh, cook those up, make a little gravy for that to go over our potatoes. So let's get started. We have our oven on 450. Normally it says 400 uh, for 20 minutes, but this oven sometimes uh, starts off slow, so I have it a little higher this morning. Let's start cutting our steaks. Ours will be, they'll be half, but normally they should be around a whole. Since I had a half a cabbage, cut them kind of thick. You don't want them too thin. Don't worry about losing the leaf on the top. I don't know how many we're going to get, but we're going to put these in the oven. And we're making cabbage steaks. Okay, we don't discard that part of it. Now, here's what, what we're going to do with them. First, we have some olive oil. Okay, we're going to pat them with some olive oil on both sides. Sure you get them nice. And then we're gonna season them. We do the olive oil first. This way, the seasoning will stick to your cabbage leaves. Okay, now we're gonna add a little salt. I have some Himalayan salt, pink salt. We have a little cayenne pepper, just a little. We have some uh, garlic powder and onion powder. I pray that everyone, uh, everybody didn't have to go through the storm. It came through Cherokee, Alabama last night and all day yesterday, but God is good. We are here. He kept us under his wings, so we are safe. Now we're going to turn these over and we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side if I don't tear them up. Let's get a spatula. Okay, try to hold them together as much as you can. And we're going to do the opposite side. Like I said, don't worry about it if you lose some of the outer leaves. Let's go with the oil. Okay, get your oven preheated to 400. And that's very important to have your oven preheated. And make sure you get your cabbage oiled nicely. We are making cabbage steak. Okay, doesn't matter what order you put the seasoning. As long as it gets on there, Onion powder, garlic powder, cayenne pepper. Okay, some cayenne. I don't want to make it too hot. This is the hot cayenne. Let's go with the paprika. You know, paprika has been become so popular nowadays in the seasonings that we are using. Now, let's just place these on our cookie sheet. 
can we get this one together, back together again? Come on our cookie sheet. I want to put them too close. And get a nice heavy duty cookie sheet. All right. Good thing about putting parchment paper on here is that you can clean up your mess, right? Now, I don't want to, I'm just going to pat, 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 because you're not going to turn it over, okay? Pat this on there, the last of it, just about enough. All right. Make sure they're on there good. All right. And these are going to cook for about 20 minutes. Or until the leaves, the cabbage leaves are nice and edible. Let's move this out the way. We have a lot to do. Now we're going to put this in the oven. I'm going to put it in the bottom oven because that was on first. It's probably the hottest. All right. Now let's wrap this up. Put this out of our way. All right. All right, now. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Who do we have here? We have Sheila. Good morning, Sheila. We are making a cabbage steak, which we just put in the oven, okay? And we are going, now we're going to make, I'm trying to see which is better for everyone to see what I'm doing. We have our chicken here, but before I deal with the chicken, now we're gonna, I'm gonna make some, show you how to curd your milk. This is soy milk, okay? And what I wanna do is curd it to make sort of like buttermilk. So I'm going to put a lemon, little lemon juice. Look how it's curd. Look at that, can you see that? I don't know if it, I, you know, I, somebody got to text me later on to show me how, I don't care what I do, I cannot get this camera to zoom in close. I, I just, look how that's curving. So gently, move it around. We're making buttermilk. This is how you make soy buttermilk. Look at that. Can you see that? Close up view. Buttermilk. Now we're gonna put some nutritional yeast flakes in it. Just a little to give it the egg effect. So we're gonna mix this in. And you know, all right. All right, now that's going to be our wet to our drum. So we have the wet. Now we're going to put a little onion powder, garlic powder, paprika. I am a little salt. You want to season it up. Let's whisk this in. This is also some of the flour that I'm going to use to make my gravy. All right, now we have our chick satan chicken. Nice to have to have had these frozen up in the refrigerator. I'm gonna put a little salt, a little cayenne pepper on one side because my cayenne is extra hot. So now we're gonna use paprika on both sides. All right, now let's just mash this in because. There is a little liquid in there from being frozen, but I patted most of it out. Now, what we're gonna do, 
because we're going to now most of the time we go flour then liquid but this time because I'm not going to double and we're going to do it one time so we're going to go liquid flour into the pan so let's cut our pan up you don't want a lot of oil in this, okay? And I have this over here so we can drain it off. But we don't want a lot of oil. All right, got my little towel here. And I meant to, let's move this out the way. I meant to put my apron on, so y'all don't have to excuse me today. <laughs> How you doing, Sheila? Who else do we have on here? I have two cameras going. I'm sorry for those that are on Instagram. I, okay. We have, is that Samantha? All right. I'm gonna tell you, we uh, went through a lot of wind blowing, things being tossed around, but God spared us, so here we are. All right, we have our eye on. Let's put a little vegetable oil in here. I'm using Western vegetable oil, or you can use grape seed oil. That's good for if you're gonna fry in a skillet. All right. That should be enough for there. We still have our potatoes on. They should be done. All right, now, here are we gonna do, what we're gonna do is liquid first. I'm doing the opposite of what we normally do. And flour. And liquid, I don't know, I might go twice. And flour, let's see. Let's get it nice, mashed in there so some of the Flour can be absorbed in there. We're making, we have cabbage steak in the oven. For those that missed out, we're gonna have our chicken patties. This could be a little warmer or hotter. Let's get the eye going there. And we are gonna save this for our gravy. All right. Now, we made buttermilk. See how it curd? All right, let's get Now, let me go to the sink and let's wash these hands. Get all that flour off. All right. And let's wipe our board down. I don't think we might not need the board there. We should. I moved my chopping block here, but for some reason, it's not to really showing per, uh, too much for those that are using the camera, but let's see, can we slide it? Y'all are bear with me. This is a chopping block that I have most of my using tools, I call it tools. Can y'all see that? Let's move it a little further for those on, on the camera, the iPhone. All right, how's that? Alright, now we have our steak, cabbage steaks in the oven. We have our saitan chicken breast browning on top. We are going to make gravy with the remainder of this. And we have some mashed potatoes. Let's cut those off. Or we're going to make mashed potatoes. We have some potatoes that are sliced up. We're going to drain them off. Let's see. I'm going to drain them. And I'm going to put them back in the same pot. All right. Now, can you see? You probably can't see it. But we're going to add our soy margarine. This is a tablespoon. I'm going to use my fork. Now I had salt water, always, when you're doing your pasta or potatoes, salt the water, because it's hard to get the seasoning in there once the pasta is done or the mashed potatoes, if you want mashed potatoes, mashed potatoes. All right, let's add a little cayenne. Come on out, okay, a little more. And that should be it, yes, that's nice out. Oh, that's browning nicely. I need to add a little more oil once I flip them over. All right, 
Now see, that didn't take long. And we have our potatoes. And a fork would do, if it's cooked nicely, a fork would do the job. We're going to get a plate here, because I'm going to plate it center. Now we have some dry parsley. Let's, let's, let's sprinkle a few parsley. You can use fresh parsley if you like. But when I'm doing mashed potatoes, the uh, heat from the potatoes will revive the parsley. All right, that's how we want to taste. If your water salt is just right in your water, then oh, these are turning out nicely. All right, I didn't use but a little bit, so most of the oil is going out, so let's put a little bit to keep it from burning. As my friendly train conductor, I uh, underestimated him today. Timing was off, but that's all right, God is good. I must have, they can't stop to eat, but one day I'd like to. Uh -oh. All right, now let's see, can we get these potatoes? They're just right, seasoned just right. Simply because we have added enough salt in the water to penetrate the potatoes. So this is what you want. Now we're going to take the potatoes, put them on the center. You know, because our steaks are going to go. And we're going to check on our cabbage. I'm going to try to put all of this this is a serving platter. This is not for me to eat. I had a plate over there. <laughs> to plate it up if someone wanted to have a serving. But this is the serving platter. Now notice I'm gonna put a crevice in the center and that's for the gravy. All right, now we can get this out of the way. And let's cut this down a little bit. Oh, the chicken steaks are delicious. They look, let's see, can I get that scent of the brown? All right. Now, let's check in the oven and let's see how our steaks are doing, cabbage steaks. I'm gonna move this to the top oven. Oh, look at that, that's beautiful. Let's see, can I let you see that? Coming along nicely. All right. Hasn't been 20 minutes yet. I'm going to cut the bottom of the off. Lower oven cancel. And upper oven really can um, be put, cut down a little bit. All right. Now, our steaks are coming along. You know, these are already done. It's just a matter of Brown and look at that, that's beautiful. I think I'm gonna get this piece in the center done. And once this comes out, we're going to make a gravy. Uh, I've never, some people use a milk gravy, they like a light gravy, but I'm not. I'm gonna have a dark gravy. Uh, it's gonna make a light gravy, you can use the soy milk. Um, I guess I could. Uh, I just, uh, my parents were from the country, North Carolina, and they've always made brown gravy. <laughs> well, maybe I do it a little lighter. How's that? All right, we have our potatoes. We have our steaks. Ready to chicken steaks. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's just set them up there to drain a little bit. This one's going to get a little brown in the center. And we're ready to take out our potatoes, I mean our cabbage in a minute. Oh, let's see. I don't want them to, you want them to be a nice golden brown. The edges may get a little dark, but that's okay. You want them Oh, these are so beautiful. And let's stick a fork in them. Oh, wow. 
right. Okay, look at that truck. What we're gonna do, we're gonna cut this off. Everything is coming along nicely, you know? Timing is everything. All right. This I can, I've got that off because we've got to make our gravy. Now, let's plate up our cabbage steaks. All right, we have our potatoes. Now let's get our cabbage steaks. Let's loosen them up a little bit. Oops, some of them, the larger ones, could stay on for about another minute or two. Now this is just me, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to smooth them over with a little margarine because I'm gonna put them back in the oven for about five minutes. Now the oven is going to be off, okay? I'm doing this because I don't want them to dry out. And I have my cancel, the oven is off. And that's in there. They'll come out once my gravy is made. All right, let's put this back on and let's do our flour gravy. Put a tablespoon to the little oil that I have. Listen, the more flour you put in here, the more gravy you're going to have. So I'm going to that'll make a heaping tablespoon. And it depends on, you know, you could have drained the oil, but I want all the little giblets, all the little good stuff in the gravy. I'm just going to, I'm not really measuring. You have to eyeball how much oil that's in the skillet. All right, let's move this out the way again. All right, now, let's get this. You want to really cook this until the flour is, uh, so it won't have that flour taste. Light brown, just a little bit. Uh, the gravy should, and to some that may look like it's burning, but it's not. All right, you want to get it as dark as you can, otherwise you will have a light gravy. All right. And you need to judge, maybe when we have the cooking school, you could measure. I don't measure, I eyeball. <laughs> That's terrible. But we shouldn't take too much uh, water. So to keep from... Uh, Taking the skillets away from you, I'm going to add, this is uh, distilled water coming from this side of the faucet, which is a blessing. Okay, you're going to see a lot of push steam, but don't worry about it. It'll be all right. All right, now. Okay. You want, they want it, it calls for a light gravy, white gravy, so but we're gonna go ahead and cut the eye up. And watch it go. Look at that. And when this comes down, look what you got. Gravy. Now, you don't want it to be so thick that it doesn't, it should be able to cook or simmer for about a, a minute or two minutes. So if, it, if you find out that it is getting too thick, you just drop a little more water in there. Can everybody see this? All right, we have our gravy. Now, look at that. It's gonna go over top of our steaks. Let me see. Now, Salt is definitely needed. <laughs> you gotta put a little salt. Don't overdo it. All right, since I had my little paws on that, let's get something else. Stir it around. It's nobody's easy for me, but the point is, you never know who's gonna knock on your door. You never know. All right. All right. Now, uh, let's do again, see. Just right, just enough. Cut this 
on very low. For a minute, look how thick that is. Look at that. Now, let's get our steaks. That's right. And we're gonna put them like this. And let's plate that like that. Can you see that? Let's get it so the people Now, this is what makes it so, so good. I'm going to use the same spoon. Here's the gravy. First, we're going to pour it over the potatoes. And then we're going to drizzle it over our steaks. Look at that. Delicious. Save some for later. Now, let's cut this off. And let's take out our cabbage steaks. They should be very much, the other was off. I just wanted to stay warm. Oh, it smells so good. All right, let's move this. You're not to start a show anymore. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure you have, my hands are old hands. <laughs> They can take a little heat. All right. Mmm. You can see the difference where one begins and the other one ends. And let's put this one right here. Would have one want to tear up, but that's okay. And last but not least, and that's all right if you have some. All right. There we have our cabbage steaks. Get these out the way. Mmm, delicious, delicious, delicious. So we have cabbage steaks. Mmm. And we have our chicken and gravy. Now, all right, cabbage steak, chicken and gravy. All you need is your biscuits, right? <laughs> well, let's see who else we had on here. Sheila. Sheila was watching. Um, Samantha was watching. I am so glad that uh, Y'all are continually coming on. Now this, I have to, see, gonna find a little knife here and a fork. You know what I have to do, right? Let's move the steaks out the way. And let's see what our chicken and gravy. Mm. All right. Get to look at the chicken on the inside. Hmm. I don't know whether anyone can hear my stomach growling. <laughs> Very good. Chicken, nice and tender. Now, get another fork. Well, that one was used. Yes, I have a dishwasher. <laughs> Let's take the, dip it in the gravy. tell you, your seasoning, I mean, it's very important that you season everything. Listen, I'll just eat this one particular cabbage that I'm going to cut off with my fork since I'm the one eating. I want to taste the cabbage. Ah. Uh, hmm. Listen, if you don't like cabbage, Try it this way. It is so good. So delicious. So we had cabbage steak, chicken and gravy, saitan, chicken, gravy, mashed potatoes. 
raw salad. That's it. I mean, you don't need anything else. Am I correct? We learned how to make our buttermilk and then your nutritional yeast flakes. You can add to it if you want that taste of eggs. If you don't have eggs, I usually I have just eggs in the refrigerator. So today is Friday. This is the day I go do a little shopping here and there. So I am so thankful for those that came in and watched Samantha and Sheila. Um, I thought someone said something. Oh, let's see. No, I guess not. But if you have anything uh, you want to ask, I can always answer it later. I'm using two cameras, so it's kind of hard to adjust. But I want all the food to be in the camera. So I have a hard time with this, the one I'm using on Instagram. So here we are. We have our potatoes, mashed potatoes and gravy with our satan chicken breast. And we have our cabbage steaks, which is in the oven. We season them with um, onion powder, garlic powder, uh, paprika, salt, cayenne pepper. Brush them with a little olive oil and put them in the oven at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. Um, but you can adjust your oven to however. And of course the chicken steaks, we just uh, made our buttermilk out of the soy milk and lemon juice. Put a little nutritional yeast flakes in it for the egg effect, but you don't have to. And we fried those up and as less oil as we could. We made a light gravy, you saw that made the gravy, a brown gravy. I was raised up on that gravy <laughs> when my father would cook his food. So I want to thank everyone for coming. This, like I said, this is preparation day for me, Friday. I get to rest and enjoy and sw a sweet fellowship tomorrow. Tomorrow's the Sabbath. I want to say happy Sabbath to all those that are uh, keeping the Sabbath tomorrow. And we do have some that uh, will be going to church on Sunday, but I just pray that all of us will let God lead us today, direct our footsteps, and help us to stay focused. And you know what I'm gonna say? Because you know I have to taste this one more time. I right, see this? Bon appetit. Y'all have a blessed weekend. And stay safe.